What about you? How did it go? Uh, yeah, it was a, it was very good yesterday. I mean, it felt good. You know, their responses were really engaging and exciting, and the, you could you could see the pleasure in their faces when they started to kind of put a shape around their inquiries and kind of a vision of where they were going. So it's uh, it was yeah, I think. We did uh, we did really good work yesterday. I, I came home exhausted, but just feeling really wonderful about it. Great, great. Uh, oh, have we, got, have we got an echo? Let's just see. That'd be a shame if we get an echo. Um, you know, when you were talking um, on Friday about getting them to actually think more about their inquiries, which it seems you've done, but you were also doing something which can be quite difficult, and that is introducing themselves introducing them to papers to ideas of others how did did that go okay uh the, we did the siemens paper i don't think you have that but it's a paper uh by a, uh, a professor from um university of manitoba yeah and he's talking about how um learning hasn't changed despite the tremendous changes in technology okay. and the social networks and, you know, all the places available on the net, you know, both the locally and globally, and because universities are still boxes, you know, like the space is defined yeah. as a box. Yeah. And uh, his, the, he talks about the huge potential for these other forms of learning, which we're doing, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so we, I had them kind of see if the abstract gave them uh, information on what they were going to read and then to think about uh, are there claims in there that he hasn't supported or yeah. how is he support his claims? Um, is, there, is there information there that might help to inform their inquiries? Okay. And what was kind of the framework of the paper? So other than just reading it for content, you know, it's kind of look at what does a research paper look like? Yeah, yeah. And then how could you strengthen this paper? And it, no, no, they, they really got into it very quickly. I was, uh, I was very happy with the dialogue because they did their, their um, thinking first, then they went into their groups and they came back and kind of reported the, just the dialogue. And uh, it, uh, it, they are starting to think critically you know, about what is a good research paper and, uh, you know, how does that apply to their own? All right, so if I've understood that there was some creativity at work as they were beginning to form their own inquiries grounded in their own practice, right. and then from what I've just said, I think you were stimulating their, uh, again, their abilities to become more critical in relation to the ideas of others. Um, um, were there any other things that you, you know, when you think about what it was you were intending to do? Uh, that I did... This is the idea of Dad's work on methodological inventiveness. Yeah. To kind of sort of free them from feeling that they need to appropriate some form, you know, to Excellent. kind of put mold over their own work. Yeah. So uh, they, they like that. They like that word. Yeah. And have you got the video of that? Because I think that, or not? Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't. I was having trouble again yesterday with this old camera, so I'm. I, this is it. I'm going to do something this week. It, whatever reason, it started coming up. It wouldn't record because it said you have to reset the camera. Mm -hmm. All the time I've had that camera, I've never had a sign coming up. You have to reset it. So, yeah. you know, if you look at like GPSs and and uh, you know phones and so on, sometimes there's just a a place where you put a, a, yeah. a pin in or something and it resets it. I looked all over that thing, up and down and around it. I turned it off, turned it off, took the battery out, took the uh, uh, videotape out, and pushed everything that I could think to push. Yeah, yeah, but still good. And so it did It did reset. I have no idea which of the things I did reset. Right, right. <laughs> it did reset. It's, it, it's just that there's something really special about you opening that space for their own awareness of me their own methodological inventiveness because it seems to be such a crucial idea that um, they needn't take something off the shelf
because out of their own context, which are quite unique, they will need to generate their own methodologies. So it, it just feels as something, if we have got that on tape, I think that will be really significant in terms of you developing that culture of inquiry within which this creative space is opened up, as well as that becoming more critical as you engage with the ideas of others. And then hopefully as they get their accounts coming, we can actually develop that sense of the criticality, you know, coming from their values as well as the ideas of others. So it just sounds as if, you know, uh, from Friday's intentions, um, you know, the session itself was really good in terms, of, yeah, the, the values you feel that you're wanting to live uh, were being expressed there. And I've got their first assignments. And so um, I ha I'm starting to get their questions and they're, okay. they're kind of forming and reforming the questions. Yeah. And, of course, they always start out with these mega questions, you know, right. that take a lifetime to answer. And uh, so when they worked in the small groups, I had them kind of bring it down to something you Great. can do, you know, in a, a two-month period. And that's, you know, that's always hard because yeah. you you want to have this huge impact, but you have, you have to bring in the controls like time energy and you know work and <laughs> yeah and what it is that can you manage isn't it you know because the great you know the, the huge questions just can't be tackled um whereas if the, well it sounds as if you've got them actually focusing on what might be managed and doing that together and when I you say to a person they are pretty close to having an inquiry, a vision of yeah. an inquiry. And right. then, so this week, then they've got to put in some more of the detail. Yeah. Not exactly what data are you going to collect, you know. Okay. Well, you know, you're, you say you've got the first assignment in. Is that correct? Uh, the, the first assignment was just sort of what do you think you might like to study, you know. Okay. In and does the... The second one is more about, you know, what's the question? Yeah. And what exactly are you going to do to to um, get data to great. see whether or not you are living those values in your practice? That's great. Now, that really is good. And when you now get some assignments in, first of all, do these come in electronically? Yes. They do. So that idea of you being able to, um, whenever you respond to anybody you will have that record and that documentation because there's something about this, you know, being receptive to what they say, then responding and then seeing over time the nature of the influence. And it feels within this particular time that you've got, it will be possible to actually do that in a way that we haven't managed to do before. Well, we haven't been as systematic as we uh, promote. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's kind of essential to kind of have a plan, which yeah. is what I ask them to do and what I'm also doing in my own head. So. Yeah. And I, I said to them that, you know, this model of what I'm doing here with you could be a model for their own inquiries. Very much so. And if you could get this sense of, of with the pupils as well, isn't it, where they're, being, they're recognized as being of value, they've got their own ideas, share them, they're getting responses which actually are directly related to what they're doing, and let's see how seriously they take them. Well, that's excellent. What about um, next what, Friday? Are you, you okay for that as well? Yes. So um, in their uh, plan for next week, they're, they're going to read our paper and the Ander her Anderson paper, right. Yep. and yep. we're going to have a conversation with you on Skype. That's great. So um, in terms of time... Yeah. How is your day? Well, you, you just tell me um, what is it that you would like on Saturday. If you give me a time, I can be available. Well, um, 10 o'clock gives me uh, time to you know, kind of get things rolling and uh, reframe from the last week and yeah. get, show the little video of you know, what my intentions are. Yeah. So if we could do 10 o'clock, which is 3 o'clock your time. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. 3 o'clock. Okay. That and the, the systems there seem to work very well, so I don't think there'll be any transmission problems. Yeah. I run YouTube and Internet, no problem at all. So. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really great. So if we have the Friday one just to review again, yeah. you know, with the intentions rather. Um right. 
we know that they're going to be looking at uh, our joint paper for AERA and the Anderson and her paper. Yeah. Oh, that's really great. And they're, uh, we're starting in on the text as well, so yeah. we're going to start bringing in some of the ideas about networks now. So okay. we've been through kind of the different kinds of spectrum of PD, and we're now at, yeah. the, at that point, and so bringing text in. Okay. That sounds really good. Well, it is. It's, it's very exciting. Yeah. I just, uh, it's yeah. a real pleasure. I just... Mm. Uh, I just love uh, listening to them talk about what matters to them. <laughs> yes, and next Saturday, I know they're going to be focusing on the papers. Um, is it um, right? Your intention to bring them back to the kind of questions that they're asking, you know, or not? Or is that is Saturday going to be, you know, almost completely focused on exploring the implications of the papers, or will there be that? Um, opportunity for them just to articulate, you know, the kind of questions that they're now thinking of asking. Well, in in fact, um, a, a group of them are are going to articulate uh, what their plan is for their inquiry and whether they've collected any data to date. Oh, excellent. So, and um, I, where they want to, I'm going to take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do have to do something about this camera this week, so I can actually do this. Yeah, more yeah. Easily. The problem is that the camera's at the back of the room, and I'm at the front, and whenever there's an issue, i got to keep going back and forth. So if I can get one with a remote, you know, or that I can manage it, yeah. it will be less of a struggle for me. Well, I hope you managed to get one, because as I said, they're reasonably priced now, and those, either the Panasonic's, you know, I mean, those are, those are good, uh, the JVC ones are fine. The key one, as I said, just to check, is that you've got that... Um, the memory card, you can actually just uh, transfer it direct to your Apple. Right. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, it, well, I think one of the one of the guys, Joe, said that he has one, um, and I think he said this is a Panasonic, and you just drag and drop, and yeah. it's, uh, it's so easy. It is. It's so important, that. Oh, that's great. And he's the one that has done a video journal. Very good. Very good. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen it yet, because it just yeah. came out, but... Yeah. He's taken, you know, the demonstration of, that I'm using and uh, done a video journal. He said, I've never been able to do journals very well, but this makes sense to me. Oh, isn't that, that really is it. It's so good to use the technology in this way and the students are finding it, you know, helpful. And we'll be able to connect with them, won't we? I mean, we, we could, if he's got a video journal, some of that on YouTube, we could yeah. actually respond to that. Yeah. Yeah. So I will, um, I will look at it and I'll ask him if he... I would like a response, you know, publicly, right. and we'll maybe put that into some kind of a CS 